All right, so welcome to the first debate practice at Bottle. Um, today, we're going to uh, just kind of do like a, a quick um, synopsis of what we'll be doing um, this semester and um, probably through the year. We'll talk about some of the things that we have planned out, what are some of the goals that we have, um, and just talk about how we continue to grow as a program. Um, and so um, I'll just introduce myself. I'm Athena, of course, the students, you all know me. Um, but if you're watching this video online, um, hopefully this gives you more insight about our program. I am a staff member at um, the Bay Area Urban Debate League. I work with um, the high school division um, with our um, varsity competitors and our competitors who are um, beyond their first year of competition. So that's mostly the program that I manage and I direct. And so, yeah, it's been pretty fun um, being in the Bay Area um, for my first year being on staff with the Bay Area Urban Debate League. Um, I had a taste of working with the Bay Area Urban Debate League when they emerged um, as a nonprofit. Oh my gosh, I don't even talk about the year because it's gonna make myself seem old, but, <laughs> but some time ago when um, Bottle was just starting, uh, now I think about it, it's been what, I don't know, like 15, 16 years ago. Um, and so Bottle has been um, ensuring that debate is free for students, that, that students in public schools have access to debate um, within the Bay Area. And so I'm happy to be a part of this program and to be a part of you know, the forefront of making things happening for our program. So that's what I do. And we have um, some of our other staff members um, that help make this possible. And so, um, yeah, that's just who I am. And that's our program. And so, yeah, you can find us in downtown Oakland is where our office is. And so again, welcome. You got a preview of who I am again, a bottles of program that's more than 12 years plus that has made debate possible for a lot of students. Um, and gave give, has given opportunities that are, uh, the potential to grow within the program. Maya was an alumni of the program and is now the executive director of the program. So um, people have been able to actually benefit from being an alumni and actually being through the program, as well as other Urban Debate League folks have been able to work with Bottle. And you know, other I'm not the only urban debater that um, Bottle has hired in the past. And so it speaks to Bottle being this place of, um, you know, advocating for urban debate, um, not just within the Bay Area, but at large. And so, yeah. And so, you know, Bottle also tries to allow alums to get into college, connect them with, you know, various other industries within the Bay Area, other programs and organizations that, you know, also want to assist students becoming successful. And so outside of myself, again, I told you I am the open lead um, manager within the high school division. Um, but again, my Redeker, again, is the new executive director this year. And um, Maya, you know, performs all of the things that, you know, we need as staff to be able to do our jobs. So um, my job is basically making sure that, you know, that we are known within the community that um, donors and people who have money <laughs> are donating and making sure that we have um, programs that allow people to donate and that we have systems in which people help people donate and making sure that, you know, again, all of the other stuff that administratively needs to be done that, you know, um, that allows me to do my job and do most of the programming type stuff. Um, and, and allows all of us to do the program stuff, stuff as well. Um, and then, so you have, after Maya, who's an alum, you have um, Willene, who's an alum as well of the Bay Area Urban Debate League. Um, Willene's job is to work with, you know, recruitment, making sure the students feel, um, you know, the need to stay within our program. Um, and also, um, Willene runs the middle school division um, for all parts of uh, middle school. Um, and then Sakai um, is also our regional coordinator, helping us make sure that we have, you know, those ties to the community as well uh, as it relates to programming. Um, but also Sakai runs the novice division. And so, yeah, that's, that's who we are as a staff. That's our jobs. 
Um, and, you know, I'm probably missing some responsibilities of our job. It doesn't just, um, our jobs just don't live within those limits. Our job can sometimes, you know, um, be a lot more than just some of the things that I articulated prior. So we do a lot. So this year, the topic is about um, the United States federal government should substantially increase its security cooperation with NATO. Um, well, that is the plan text. Let me, let me, let me go back. Um, this year's topic for everyone in the country, the United States federal government should substantially increase its security cooperation with NATO in the following areas, artificial intelligence, biotechnology, and cybersecurity. Um, but within our program, for those who are just starting off, um, our novices um, who are just beginning to engage in debate. Uh, this is uh, um, one of the, um, well, this is where you start off arguing. Um, this is not the only option you have uh, within the debate space to engage within the topic, but this is um, the evidence that we provide for you just to get your feet wet, just so that you can have some things to get started. But um, again, if you are interested, there's a lot of debaters like Ella, who um, started, who um, actually is in the middle school division and competes in the high school division and has had opportunities even within student leadership council to compete on the open division. So you don't have to stick to um, conversations um, or stick to this plan text um, as it relates to cybersecurity. Again, there's other areas of the topic that you can look at um, and, and not just in terms of function of plan text, but also in terms of these other arenas, again, cybersecurity, I mean, um, excuse me, artificial intelligence and um, biotechnology are other areas of the topic that you can delve into. And then we have the middle schools topic. Um, the topic has changed. Actually, let me stop sharing my screen for a moment. Um, it has changed from middle school. So let me get that new information really quickly. Uh, I don't even remember where it was sent to me. Uh -huh. Actually, I do. So the topic for middle school has changed. It just changed the other day. Okay. Here it is. One moment, y'all. I do apologize. Also, too, I have an announcement. We'll talk, do these announcements. So this is also for those who are interested in doing the demo debate for middle school. This is the topic, and this is the information we'll use for that demonstration debate because you are here for open division. So again, you um, open division has some duty um, of leadership, but also if you're in open division, open division, I hope that you're also participating in the Student Leadership Council, which all three of you are. Um, but these are for all the folks who are watching. Um, you know, there'll be opportunities like this moving forward and you should be aware of, you know, trying to be a leader and to allow folks to emulate some of the things that you're doing so they can prosper and, you know, um, be successful in, within this activity. So this is the new, oh, let me share my screen because I'm looking at it, but you guys aren't looking at it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, why is everybody so quiet? So this is the topic um, right here. Um, and um, it's resolved the United States federal government sh um, sh or the United States should establish a comprehensive bilateral trade agreement with Taiwan. I'm, I'm sure it's probably the United States federal, federal government. I don't know. But, um, should establish a comprehensive bilateral trade agreement with Taiwan. So there we go. All right, so that is what the middle school division will be talking about. Um, and so um, there has been some issues with, you know, um, you know, Taiwan, well, not issues, but there is, Taiwan holds a, um, plays an important role, impo important role in our world history. And, and we in our um, sometimes our conflicts and also sometimes our alliances with China has um, you know sometimes been at um, it's been a little rocky because we you know U.S. has pretty good ties with uh, Taiwan. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, where am I? At? 
Okay, stop sharing and then let's go back. Mathino, did you say there's a public forum demo to be? Yes, if you're interested in um, participating in the Jimin debate, let me know. Yes, please. It'll be just like how we did for COD. Okay. Yep. Um, and then let's just do this. Okay. Can, and my, my screen is shared, right? Great. Okay. I can see the screen still. That's, okay, good. So, um, as we are a community based organization, be aware that, you know, people are, are watching what we do. Um, that even though you might not see people in the community all the time, but we are our nonprofit, we are a business. And so people do want to see, see the success of us grow as a business, but they also want to see us grow. Um, you know, in terms of how we are able to have impact within our community. So um, it's not, this is a nonprofit organization. So, you know, me being successful alone is not how this organization functions, right? It takes all of us sharing our part in, in contribution and leading um, and being examples of maintaining community and maintaining leadership and, you um, showing people that we can become successful within this activity and um, showing people that we can work together. And we do have communication channels in which we can use in order to work together um, so that, you know, where we are and how we work, you know, that I, a lot of times blast stuff on Slack. I also will send like emails, post my visits. Usually I do um, emails, post my visits to your coach and to the students there that sign up. Um, so for, if you're on my school site, um, and usually typically you're, if someone is at your school site, they probably sh would do the same, or they probably do that with your coach and then it trickles down to you. But because I mostly deal with high schools, um, I try to um, even school, some even with some of the schools that I don't work with, sometimes, you know, I try to, you know, support by making sure that, that um, whenever other staff members aren't, that, you know, communication is there between coach and the students and that, you know, everything is running smooth, smoothly. So make sure that you're on, you know, our YouTube is also a, a place where you can find information this year. There will be more videos being posted there, um, particularly for the open division. I do have videos that you will have and information that will not be during these practices. So there will be information and stuff that you will learn that will be if you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, that's that's on you. So there will be like extra stuff, like you know, it's not like extra credit or anything. But I just want to make sure you have you know something to work on and something to guide you when I'm not around, and just extra pieces when you're like, oh, what do I do about this? It's there. Um, so it's just additional ways to help you become better in debate so that you, you're not missing out. Um, and so th there'll be like additional videos again on YouTube. I'll post these videos like we're doing right now that we record on YouTube. So you have that. There's videos from the past, from past seasons you can look at. And um, you don't even have to just look at our channel. If you look at our channel, great. But there's other channels, there's other urban debate leagues, there's other schools who post debate knowledge stuff. So um, use your resources, use the, the community of debate. And we'll have events that will be community building. We did an SLC party last week. We'll be doing more um, events like this later on, um, where we'll just come to the office, have fun. Um, I've heard some of your feedback about like decorations and stuff. I will definitely try to like, you know, you know, do it up more um, the further and further we get along. Um, but um, yeah, you know, come, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes you can roll with the punches or not. So, so some days, you know, at our organization, we'll, you know, we'll try to do the best we can to make it as cool and as happening as, as fun as possible. Which I think I had fun at the last SLC party. My, I didn't need balloons to have fun. I, I had fun because you all were there. So um, practices um, are um, Wednesdays for novice, online from four to six. For middle school, it's 3.30 to 5.30 for middle school. There'll be a breakout rooms. Um, so if you ever want to like go back to those novice sessions just to um, mess with the novices or you know to help out with the novices, if you want to talk about your peer experience about what's the difference between the open division and novice division, I'm sure 
they would love to have you. And also too, it's, it's okay to like help your peers um, just so that you can make sure that you have your fundamentals together. So if you want to review your fundamentals, you can definitely help Sakai like, you know, just go over some of that material um, because you are, are, you are student leaders and you're within the open division. So be, you know, there's going to be more moments of having internships and leadership opportunities. So start, you know, taking moments to train yourself and, you know, take moments to get trained um, so that, you know, we can start putting you in more leadership positions because leadership positions are going to definitely, definitely be rolling out more now that COVID has subsided and we're able to work with more organizations and do more as a program so that because we're able to like be in the same room and share the same space. So in terms of how we socially work, um, hopefully we have more flexibility to have an increased capacity of impact. And so our open division is like they are um, for our sessions are days like today, Thursday from four to six on Zoom. And then tomorrow um, I will be in office. Um, you can also hang out with us on Zoom if you just wanna like do a kickback. Those days on Fridays are our less formal days um, where you can engage in student leadership. You can learn more about debate where, you know, we can help you kind of really master those skills. And also um, we talk about, you know, doing other leadership activities within our community, like public debates, helping us do certain events, like doing a gala and stuff like that and um, champion of diversity. And like, there's other times where we're gonna have other conferences and, you know, think tanks and stuff. And um, I don't even, I don't know, focus groups and all of those things that we're gonna need your insight and your leadership on. So there'll be a lot more opportunities um, coming down the pipeline as it relates to debate lounge. And even, you know, our parent organization, I, I really can't say our parent organization, but um, one of the other organizations that we work with, the National Association of Urban Debate um, Leagues, um, they um, sometimes gives us give us funds to host certain types of events and host certain type of activities. So we, you know, if, when they provide us opportunities to do certain activities, we definitely hop on that as well. So debate lounges are those days when that happens. And so to speak more about what Student Leadership Council is, this is, an, again, an opportunity for students who are most committed to receive additional instruction um, within the debate. Um, it's also where we compete nationally. Um, and it, those are for those, and then it's also for those students who, um, who are gaining additional mentorship, um, opportunities for civic engagement. Um, so we do have civic engagement programs that you'll be engaging in. Um, within the, your, you know, your community within the Bay Area. Um, it's additional opportunities for scholarships, um, you know, career development, professional development, um, putting something on your resume, putting something on your college applications to get additional experience. And when, you know, someone asks you, you know, post-college, have you been able to do a presentation before? You know, have you been able to um, critically think about this before or you know have you ever been in a position where you've had to work with others before um, and get something done and have to think and have to put out you know a, a product and debate teaches you about doing all of those things um, and having to be organized and and um, knowing how to organize information and how do you be able to you know present that and so debate um, can teach you a lot of those things and, and and more and teach you a lot of soft skills and so we really try to provide more opportunities and and using those soft skills within student leadership council so if you need help with technology if you need a puck for internet if you need a tablet because your laptop's dead um, if you uh, need a borrow laptop or, or something and you need to request technology we can definitely do that for you um just um, download that form and um, once you download the form, you can ship it over to me so I can ship it over, ship it over to Maya. But I would say try to um, go straight to the source and just ship it over to Maya so that that payout and that distribution um, for technology, technology can be um, provided to you. So again, um, you know, talk to your coaches as well, you know, Again, it's lead communication. Talk to your coaches as well. Your coaches at your particular school sites are definitely some someone you should use more um, because they're a part of your community and they can help 
you with some of the workload that you're looking for. Don't tell your coaches about some of these things that you need help with last minute. You know, if you have something that you actually have to give them, give them that, you know, and say like, look, there's a speech. Can you just look it over? I, can I get it back from you in a week? You know, if you do it in advance, people can really help you. Um, and that's what this activity teaches you is like how to like use your assets as well and be a person who does asset mapping, um, which is an actual um, capital um, corporate America uh, business term is asset mapping. And you should know how to use your map out your assets and know how to put them into play and how to delegate work, because that's a lot of what my job is too. sometimes is sometimes calling on the jar or or, uh, or other alums or calling on Toyo or whatever. Um, but to know that, the, again, this is a community and, it, you know, I can't, I can't do this alone because, you know, I can have imprint, but really this is about the uh, imprint of, of, of the community. And being a UDL alum myself, you know, I would say that I had a lot of mentorship from all parts of this, all parts of this country, truthfully, to make me the person that I am today. And it has made me flourish in a lot of uh, ways that I've been able to exist outside of this world of debate. So I've been able to work with nonprofits and work with um, government volunteer service at John Hopkins before um, I even took this position. So debate can lead you into a lot of things. It can teach you a lot about you know, interpersonal skills, how to work with people within your community. So definitely, again, um, this is probably a repeat of a slide, but definitely, you know, again, I just want to reiterate, you know, use your community. Am I going backwards? <laughs> okay. And of course, we have community guidelines. So, you know, again, I've, as I've expressed before, you know, don't, you know, even when things happen, kids are going to be kids, you know, um, I'm going to make mistakes. You know, let's just understand that, you know, A, we can forgive each other and that we hope to have the best trust in, in, in each other, that we trust each other to have the best intentions towards each other. And so sometimes if you see something, again, say something, and, and you can come to me if like, if I'm being a, a, a turd, you can always go to Maya about me if I'm being a turd. If some if 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 Willine did something, you can come to Maya, vice versa. Like you, there's several staff members you can come to. Um, if your coach is not doing something, you can come to me. But again, like also know that if something is challenging, we expect you to be an adult about it and not to add more fuel to the fire when something happens. First of all, we're all people, right? And People are going to make mistakes. And so again, like don't try to poke or add fuel to like something that could be minor and don't make a mountain out of a molehill. You know what I mean? So, you know, and be on your best behavior, you know, may, we wouldn't, there wouldn't be any drama if people were on their best behavior. So don't do anything that is not asked of you right like i'm asking you to go out here and work i'm asking you to go out here and get these scholarships right go out here and create this reputation show that you can be a, lead, a leader in your activity by putting producing and reading and, and researching and learning and being critical about the things that you're learning and um acting on that and being competitive within within not just bottle but also at large within this debate space whether it's another league or whether we do something with other places within the West Coast, or whether it's the TOC, NDCA, I don't know, I might get assigned up to the Catholic League, but whatever, wherever, whatever space we hold, you know, make sure you hold yourself to be exceptional, all right, and your best self. And so what does that look like? We got to, you know, I don't want to, you know, be specific, but sometimes we got to don't harass nobody. Don't assault nobody. Don't be touching on people when they ask you not to. Um, don't use technology like to be harassing people. Don't be sending lewd pictures or um, asking inappropriate questions because if it's on paper, look, I, as, a, as an adult, I will act on it and I have the right to act on it because again, this is a learning space. Um, don't text and anything that could deem rude or aggressive. I know sometimes it's hard to understand what that means. So again, don't be like, this person sent me something really wild and really, you know, again, you can't really read tone within text messages so much, but if it's 
explicit, if you're saying explicit language or something like that, then of course, you know, we have to ask you to like not call each other names, you know, again, don't be vulgar um, when you're communicating, you know, treat each other like you would if you was in college or if you had a job, like this is what it's preparing you for. So, um, if, and again, like I said, you don't put anyone in danger because you could put someone in danger by, you know, using those type of comments. We don't know what each other go through, what each other, what we all go through at home. Like, you know, again, this is supposed to be a safe space, you know, um, so, you know, try not to use verbal abuse, don't talk down on someone, you know, I know we can tease each, tease each other, you know, but, you know, don't do it to the point where it's constant, don't continue, if someone says, if, if you, if you're teasing someone to the point where it's going on three, four, five minutes, that's too much, like, you know, we all make sometimes, you know, we all, you know, roast each other or whatever you want to call it sometimes, but it should not be, you know, we can roast each other on experience or whatever, or just, you know, stupid moments, but it should not be based on, you know, so much gender. Don't be a misogynist. Don't say things that are racist. Don't, you know, judge someone because they look different, you know, or maybe born different. Like, just don't do those types of things. It's like not cool. Um, and don't do anything that could interfere with our program. Like that, if the job is for you to learn, like don't do anything that would stop other people from learning. Again, like know that that we are not just a business and we operate as a business, but do understand that we're also a nonprofit and do understand that there's only a few, there's only like, I hate to say it, but it's it's for black people. Well, wait, myself, I'm trying to count. Yeah, it's for black people that run this program, right? So just be mindful of the fact that like, you know, we're probably one of the leading programs in this country that has all alumni. Sometimes, you know, optically, people don't sometimes like that. You know, I don't, you know, the, we live in a world where that's kind of difficult. So, you know, be on our side, you know, and, and help us make this the best program, you know, by, Creating, helping us create a community space where you know people can thrive and don't harm anybody don't be waving knives around or using scissors in a way that could be d potentially dangerous don't shove somebody's um hand in the car door when we're traveling you know don't don't do anything like that if you're mad about somebody because they didn't extend your argument in round like i don't know I, you know don't do that um and don't do any other dis behaviors that would be disruptive okay wear a deodorant also, don't be offensive keep yourself clean <laughs> you know <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> you know um i just picked up my dry cleaning just a few seconds before i hopped on this meeting for the jack how tournament so come looking nice respect yourself you know like i you know i would always iron my shirts and have my dry cleaning done for each tournament. A few days before, I would make sure whatever I needed printed was printed, whatever I need saved, saved, whatever was organized, like, you know, like, I don't even know. Just be, <laughs> be, be that what you're supposed to be within this activity. Um, so tournaments, you know, um, now that we talked about some of the things that can make a conducive community space, we hope that in that community space, like right now, that we're practicing it and we're learning about things, um, this is where you get a, a time to shine. Um, the practice schedule, y'all should be very, very familiar. One round where we um, we do um, pairings, check-in, well, check-in, pairings, breakfast, round one, lunch, additional pairings, those two rounds and award ceremony. It's not gonna change. SLC schedule, will vary depending on where we are and how the tournaments were run. Most of the tournaments this year, looking like because of people are just trying to like keep the tournaments kind of condensed. Some tournaments start on Fridays, but it doesn't look like a lot of the tournaments are gonna be doing that anymore because it's just easier for us to fly down. Everybody can stay apart. We can do registration that Friday, Saturday. They're gonna, it's gonna be more rounds. I've, I've never had that many tournaments where I did four rounds in one day, that's kind of a lot, but just because of COVID and trying to get things streamlined, most of the tournaments are not going to have rounds on Fridays, so, but that's good because those Fridays you can prep. Um, and so those are kind of the schedules will look like for SLC. Here are the tournament dates for um, 
the bottle tournament schedule, um, th the dates will never change. Um, those locations that are there are, are un unless something happens at the school, are also um, um, there. Um, we try to do the best we can in terms of respecting people's religions. Um, if we hit Ramadan, we hit Ramadan, I'm sorry. If we hit Passover, we're sorry. We I don't think that that's going to be an issue but this year, but if it is an issue, just understand that we're also working with various school districts, and we're also trying to, like, not encroach upon, like, senior activities and junior activities that happens um, in the rest of the year. But do understand SLC will have a year-long program, and um, so for for um, the tournament schedule for SLC, um, it'll uh, it'll change. So the Golden Gate tournament um, will change and the Stanford tournament will change. Um, I have talked to Mal about changing those tournaments. Um, so we'll have a new schedule here soon. We're, it's looking like the Golden Gate tournament maybe um, until mm -hmm. I see it on paper, I'm gonna continue to say maybe the Meadows tournament in Las Vegas. Um, that tournament will change in terms of how many entries of varsity and novices I will send. So, and it also depends on um, which division is doing the most work. So if novices are really turning it out, then I'll send two novices and two varsity. Um, if novices are not doing what they need to do and, and or if varsity is not doing what they need to do, then I'll send one varsity team and three novices, but I can send four teams. So um, just make sure that, you know, you're doing your best work. Um, just to get your entry, but I'll try to send two and two because I think that's fair to, from each division, two novice teams, two varsity teams, but it may change depending on if, you know, people are not doing what they need to do. I'll provide that opportunity to someone else. Glenbrooks is the tournament that will not change. This is on the schedule. Berkeley will remain on schedule. JV, um, Western National, which is here to be at Lane College again this year, will not change. Um, and then West Coast Round Robin might be, I don't think it's going to be in this area. It may be in LA this year because that's who um, runs the West Coast Round Robin. So it may be in LA. The other tournament that's not on here as well is the NAUDL Championship. Whoever wins the Fall League Championship, whoever takes first place, that will be the first bid. The person who will get the second bid, it will be a coach vote. So you must win the league championship with your with your bottle partner to go to NAUDL Nationals, which will be in Dallas, Texas. We are only allowed to send two teams, and that will be towards the end. Like I think it's spring semester, um, and we're um, the two teams will send to Dallas, um, and that's on their dime. That's because they run the whole tournament, and so that's the um, that's how we do the two bids for that tournament. The, fir the, the first bid will be the one who wins fall championships. The second bid will be based on a coach's votes. We'll probably look at wins and, you know, attendance and all that stuff to figure out, you know, who has been a real example um, within, who can be an ambassador um, to our um, program this year. Because um, also at the tournament, like the year that they first had it when I went, um, I met actors from the great debaters, um, I met um, people from Chase Bank who were like, I met lawyers. It was really stunning to like meet a lot of people kind of like rub rub off on me to see like this world of corporate America. And, and I ended up ended, ended up working at corporate America at some point. So it's cool to, and, and I, in terms of the corporate America that they was on, I was like down here, <laughs> but it's cool to see that I got my little feet wet in corporate America and I can continue to move forward. And hopefully, you know, um, being in this space, I can still learn about like, you know, um, even though this is the nonprofit world, there's still a lot of those soft skills that you need in corporate America, you know, bounces uh, can be cross applied um, to the nonprofit world and can be cross applied to the to people who want to be entrepreneurs. So it was definitely an experience that um, I still hold dear to my heart to this day. So yeah, um, that's our program and that's some of the things that we do. Um, that's some of the things that we're um, expected to have happen this year on terms of like, you know, we're trying to do again, like more activities that are not just about debate, like just having some time for y'all to like kick back, relax at our office. We want to give you all, you all more opportunities to get incentives on being leaders in our activities. So again, we'll do that demo debate for the middle schoolers. 
um, champion of diversity will happen again this year as well. Um, hopefully some demo debates, other civic engagement projects with other nonprofits. Uh, maybe we'll do some youth conferences and stuff like that, help you help with recruitment. So there's a lot of things to like look for this year now that if unless we get the zebra procs and and COVID sigma thigh beta 51 zillion, I don't know. But if no other diseases don't cause any other pandemics, then we should be good on continue to further our program. Um, before we get into questions, and well, yeah, um, yeah, let's get into questions, comments, and then we'll get into something else. Any questions about anything I went over? Nope. And so before um, we end this uh, recorded part of the session, um, I just wanted to ask you all um, one thing, one thing, well, a few things. Um, the first thing I want to ask you was, um, what is something that you enjoyed last year about um, being in our program? <laughs> um, so I think uh, one of the most, um, I guess, in full parts was uh, all the free food that y'all provide. <laughs> Very helpful. Um, I like all of it. Why do I have to pick one? Um, I really like coming to the Thursday practices, though. Is it my turn? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, my favorite thing, what's something that I enjoyed last year was probably, other than food, was probably the debates themselves and, like, I actually enjoyed debate practice, which I didn't think I was going to, but I did, and it was fun. So, yeah, I learned a lot. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm not trying to be like dark for a moment, but the the I think honestly, um, uh, for me, I just um, you know, it's new space. You know, this is the first time I had. To, I did not have to endure a winter because I'm from places that usually has a winter season. So that's one thing that I liked about um, being new to the program and being a new SNAP member. Um, I've been a leader within this activity since I was a kid. Um, and so um, it's just, I, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just very thankful of the people who continue to say that they're proud of me because when, before we even got this job, people were like, you're proud of me. And then like when um, I started, you know, meeting folks um, who are our board or gate or partners or other people who help us do the work that are constantly telling me how cool the work I do is really important. And so that's kind of cool. And, and the last thing I'll say, um, which again, like I said, I don't want to make this dark, but I was really, this job gives me a lot of flexibility. I'm at my, lot job, at my last job, like I, I was doing really well, as I think I am doing pretty well here. Um, but my last job was definitely like a numbers job where it was like, you know, you had to make this type of, you had to have this type of evaluation every day. These are the, how your numbers need to work every day. And so being in that type of corporate space, I was just like, it was just like numbers, sales, sales, numbers, numbers, numbers. And so to have the flexibility to wear multiple hats and like some, some moments I'm online with you all. Sometimes I'm online with principals. Sometimes I'm like, have time to do work on my own. Sometimes I'm in the office. Sometimes I'm working at a cafe. Like, I like that type of like, my days are constantly evolving and changing. And like, I'm always having something on my calendar. And I like that because it makes, like, I don't like to do the same thing every day. And I like that change. And I like that ability to like, oh, today I have to read this book and get this done so that I can be able to tell y'all about this information that I've, I've um, come in contact with it or having to do a presentation. So I like that being, being able to like do a different stuff um, daily is kind of cool. And sometimes, sometimes I have to sit and get trained on different programs or different things to think about as I interact, you know, within this community. So I, I think those are the things that I, I liked. And again, also too, like having the, well, I, did, I don't know if I said this, but again, having the flexibility to take care of my father when he was ill was like, really, really cool to be able to do that and being able to do my um, Zoom sessions 
in a different state, take care of him and still like have people there and have that community there when I was able to make sure that y'all were supported during those other tournaments. So that was really cool. Um, and so any so no one's no no questions about um the presentation. Another question. Um, and then um, so the next question I have is what are you looking forward to this year? I want to um, do. Oh, sorry, you can go. No, good. I want to do a demo debate in public forum. <laughs> cool. Uh, we call, I really like the uh, opportunities for travel this year. are going to be really fun, especially since COVID last year kind of took that way. I think I'm most excited for like SLC as a whole. And now, like, I actually know what that SLC hoodie means. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um it, it's gonna still change it's still developing as you all step into leadership so um you know the program is still um emerging as we are emerging into our own space even myself included as the honoree slc um staff leader um so yeah I think for me, what I'm most interested about is I'm just seeing you all step into your next year of debate. I think it's really cool seeing um, y'all learn and, and pick up some of these um, things. And so, yeah, um, SLC City Hoodies, um, we have talked to a, uh, a place. We do have um, a, a design for a T-shirt for right now for the league. Once we get the T-shirts, then we'll do hoodies. Um, but I should, I do think I have an SOC budget. I think there is an SOC budget. So, um, if that's separate, the problem is even if we do a design, um, the company's making our t-shirts will probably be making our hoodies and they haven't even made our t-shirts yet. So I don't know if they're like had backup orders or what's the problem, but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I thought know. the SLC hoodies were the black and white hoodies that say Student Leadership Council. Aren't well, those... well we, they've been all given away. We have no more t-shirts left, no more hoodies left. So we have to do a, um, a new order. I think I have one of each, actually. So there's, there's See, maybe you like... got the limited edition there. <laughs> I think there's I, one. No, because behind... I think I have all the debate shirts. So sorry, guys. No, you're good. Wow. I have a few here Look that are left. And they're like extra larges so I can't fit them so whoever wants like a something to snuggle in you know when you're doing homework or something there's like a over over you know oversized one here when you need one <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah okay well cool um so I guess we're going to end that there and we're going to have like a little